Hello and welcome back to more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All, where in the last episode we finished up the second case of the game, which was Reunion and Turnabout, and today we'll be starting up the third case of the game, which I don't know what the name is because I was too fixated on the massive amount of reveals that popped up at the end of the last episode. I didn't look at what the name is, and I can't pause it. And the, the, turnabout Big... Turnabout Big Top? Interesting. Big Top as in... Circus? Because a circus is an awesome- is another awesome place to have a murder mystery. That would be awesome. I- I hope- I hope this is a circus here. This- The circus- it, It's the same thing with Turnabout Samurai, actually. The movie studio was such a great place to set a murder mystery, and it ended up being great. So I'm hoping the same thing happens here with the circus, but I, what I was trying to do there was pause the game to adjust the box- the, tr the text box transparency so I could see whether or not- would see, see what the name was without progressing it, but then I remember the pause button does that. Anyway, anyway, okay, let's, let's, let's just get this thing started. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the show. Prepare to witness a man who has mastered the wonder of flight. Yep, we're in the circus, all right. The world's greatest magician, the one, the only. Maximilian Galactica! Well, you certainly can't say that the game hasn't stepped up its graphical fidelity, that's for sure. Okay. December 26th, 8.12 p.m., Barry Big Circus 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 Entrance. Okay. I have high hopes for this case now, because this is a circus. Mm. Perfect spot. Perfect, perfect spot. Or location, I guess you say. Perfect location to have a murder mystery. Let's, let's do this. Let's, let's get things started. Wow, that was like being in a dream. I haven't even caught my breath yet. Heh. <laughs> That was amazing, wasn't it, Pearly? It was great! There was a dancing bear! And a tiger that jumped through the ring of fire! And an elephant that rode a giant ball! Not to make- <coughs> <coughs> We're already getting the coughs. And we haven't even heard anybody whose voice kills my throat yet. Not to mention that guy who flew through the air! Yeah, Max Galactica! He was absolutely fabulous! Huh? What? Max? Max Galactica! The world's greatest magician! A, ma a magician? No, a magician! Um, Mr. Nick? Huh? What is it, Pearls? Does magic have anything to do with channeling spirits? N nope, not even a little bit. I don't think it has anything to do with channeling. You don't know about magic, do you, Pearls? I'm sorry. I braved the winter cold and took Pearls to see the circus. It's been six months since that terrible incident in Karain Village, and it was during that trying time that I met Pearls. Thankfully, she seems to be recovering from it and is returning to her normal self. Okay, yeah, but we learned at the end of the last episode that apparently, behind the scenes, there's an, there was an elaborate scheme going on to get Pearl into the position of power of Karain Village. And that that's gonna be, like, they, they, they set it up at the end of the last episode so that so in the future they could return to this and continue trying to get Pearl into that position of power, so... I'm not so sure that, I mean, I mean, for all, I mean, it's entirely possible that Pearl just doesn't know, right? It's possible that she's just innocently doing whatever her mother tells her to do. But in the event that sh she is fully aware of what her mother's trying to do, hmm, this is gonna be rough, okay. Ah, it's time to go! You're right, we can't miss the last train! Per well, Pearls, you remember the train? Yeah, you ran the last time, which is dumb, but okay. Of course I did, but I don't really understand what everyone means by express train. Well, Nick, see you later. I'll come by to help clean the office. It's gotta be spotless for the new year. Don't worry about it, really. You are, you are going to visit Mr. Dick on New Year's. Maybe. I am glad you'll get to spend your New Year's with your special someone. But Pearly, look, it's time to go. Happy New Year, Mr. Nick. Well, not yet. Still got five days to go. Happy New Year. I really hope it will turn out that way. 
Ominous. December 28th, 9, 12 a.m., Brighton County Law Offices. Well, today wraps it up for the year. I hope I can finish cleaning this place up in one day. Oh, I was, I was hoping we were going to get to hear more of that song. Oh, I skipped it. I didn't Okay. Nick, it's, it's, it's terrible. Ah, Maya, perfect timing. Things are terrible here, too. Huh? The office is a terrible mess, and I have to clean it up. What are you talking about? Um, my dirty office. What are you talking about? Listen, Nick, you have to turn on the TV. The TV? No, let's check in at the scene. Huh? What happened? Thank you! We're here at the Very Big Circus! The Very Big Circus has become the center of a sensational murder! The scene has created quite a stir among the throngs of excited onlookers. The very... I mean, the Very Big Circus. That's the circus we went to, right? They're saying there was a murder. Yeah, they arrested him too! Arrested who? Max! They arrested Max Galactica! Hmm. So... Not only... Okay, so much... Also much like Turnabout Samurai, where the, uh... The defendant is going to be the big star. Maximilian Galactica. Fans call him Max. A popular magician who can fly through the sky at will with the help of wires. Don't get too excited there, Phoenix. Maya said she was a huge fan of Max. Oh, just like she was with the Steel Samurai, huh? Alright, Nick, I'll see you in two hours at the detention center. Huh? What? See you there! You still got plenty of time to clean up your office later. Okay, so, at first I was a, a bit opposed to the idea of them changing the Turnabout Sisters theme, but this version is still good. This version is still very good. What?! Okay, to the detention center we go, I suppose. December 28th, 11.19am, detention center visitors room. What are they talking about? Why did they arrest Max?! You're asking the wrong man on that one, Maya. Maybe he used his magical skills to deal death with a sleight of hand. Maximilian Galactica would never do such a thing! Fabulous! What the young lady just said was absolutely fabulous! What a clever girl! Such a fabulous understanding of events! What's with all this fabulous talk? Welcome to the visitor's room! It's Max! Nick! Look, it's the real Maximilian Galactica! Alright, sweetie, pick a card, any card. Hey, he called me sweetie! <sighs> Nick! Ah, time's running out, sweetie. Pick a card, any card. This one. Ah, I thought you would pick that one, sweetie. The Ace of Hearts. Let me guess, they're all Ace of Hearts. Ah, he got it, he got it, Nick. Look, he got it. What can I say except you're welcome? One of Maximilian Galactica's hearts. Oh, this guy's gonna... This guy's gonna get on my nerves, I can already tell. Well, time to make this an absolutely fabulous time. Max, you should let Nick pick a card. Yeah, I don't want to steal one of his hearts. And you are... Oh, oh, so silly of me. You must be Sweetie's driver. Um, her driver? Whatever. Hurry up and pick a card. Any card. Um, I want this one. Let me guess. It's another Ace of Hearts. So, Sweetie, let's be honest here. You came to this visitor's room to visit me, didn't you? Yes, I'm your biggest fan. So I feel like the voice I'm giving it is a little, it, it kind of similar to Mr. White uh, from the first game. But the thing is, the, the, the this guy's meant to be a circus performer, right? So the whole, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the greatest show on earth is very similar to the, oh, oh, oh I am so mighty and entitled, and I am above all of you little people. So it's just kind of... It just kind of works out that way. Fabulous! Absolutely fabulous! Thank you so much! Hey, uh, what about my card? Think of it as a souvenir. It... Well, Nick, I think it's time to get to work! What's the matter, Nick? Why are you looking at the ceiling? I was just thinking about what I should have for lunch. Sweetie, drop Porcupine Head over there. Porcupine Head. <laughs> Show me with your attention, okay? Uh, oh, yes! Absolutely fabulous! Absolutely cringe inducing. Agreed, okay. So, you, I hear you killed someone, huh? Max, I was hoping you could tell me a little more about yourself. Fabulous! I think we should get to know each other better, too! Why don't you come sit next to me? Um, there's a big piece of security glass between us. Oh, sweet Jeebus, what in the world? If only I could use magic, then I could make this wall disappear. No, you couldn't. 
What is this guy talking about? Anyways, lately you've become awfully famous, haven't you, Max? That's Maximilian to you, Porcupine Head. I love the Porcupine Head insult. Get it straight. Jeez, people nowadays, they get their panties all in a bunch over nothing. Anyway, Maximilian, you won a very prestigious award recently, did you not? I did indeed, it was fabulous. I won the Magician's Grand Prix, held by the Association of International Magicians. Oh dear god, okay, wow. Um, it's an award that recognizes that I am the most fabulous of fabulous world magicians. Oh, this guy's, he's so gonna get on my nerves. There was a trophy and a bust. It was a fab, I mean, it was an amazing day. Wow, that's incredible! Isn't it? I'm certifiably the greatest magician in the world. We're going to guess he didn't win a trophy for most modest magician. Okay, Barry Big Circus. You were assigned to an exclusive contract with the Barry Big Circus, correct? That's the long and short of it. You sure do your research, sweetie. I'm impressed. You just can't watch a magician on TV, you know? Magic is so fabulous, you have to see it with your own eyes, sweetie. You're right, you're so right! However, the circus, it's a dinosaur, a thing of the past. Nowadays, no one even cares about what goes on there. Huh? What do you mean? Yeah, I was about to say, that uh, that audience looked pretty full. That's why I signed the contract. That's why you signed the contract? Thanks to me, the Berry Big Circus is fabulously popular. People come out of droves to catch a glimpse of me yelling, apparently. Okay. I revived the dinosaur. Oh, wow, you are... So unbelievably arrogant, it's not even funny. But to me, you were just another magic trick. Isn't it wonderful, sweetie? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I was gonna, I would have picked that one. Yes. I made all the old crusty circus performances obsolete. But I kind of like the circus performances. My looks a bit down. Okay, now finally, tell me what happened. Tell me what happened at the ba at the very big circus. I feel like it should be Big Barry Circus. Oh, uh, last night, the ringmaster was the ring ma The ringmaster? You mean Russell Barry? Someone smashed him over the head, I hear. He was slumped over on the ground. Even though it was the middle of the night, the police presence was fabulous. The police questioned me at length. Questioned you about what? About everything. I was the last one to see the ringmaster before he was- He- He doesn't- He has absolutely no idea why he's here. He has absolutely no idea. I saw him last evening in his room. So then why were you arrested? Arrested? Don't make an anthill into a mountain, sweetie. They just wanted to cons- mm, yep, he has absolutely no idea why he's here. Oh boy. Nick, I don't think Maxim understands how serious this is. She's right, I think I should shock him back to reality. Uh. Before the murder, you went with the ringmaster. Uh-huh, what did you talk about? Things that aren't for your ears. Maya, would you please ask him? What did you talk about with the ringmaster, Max? It was nothing. Small talk, really. We were just having a chat about my salary. Ah, you wanted a raise. Salary? I am the one bringing- Yep, you wanted a big ol' raise. Yes. That's all you talked about? Of course, it was a fabulous chat. Oh, Cyclops. Three of them. Just fabulous. I mean, oh, now he's got me saying it. What's the matter, Nick? You look all bent out of shape. Okay, so we're gonna have to come back here later to figure out what he was actually talking about. Um, so shock him back, he said shock him back to reality. As in, like, sh tell him, hey, I'm a lawyer. You're kind of a, su a suspect in murder. Wake the hell up. What is that badge? Is it used in a disappear- Oh, good god. I'm not a magician, Max, I'm an attorney. An attorney? And why are you wasting time? Oh, good god, okay. He isn't wasting his time, Max! You're- Okay, okay, relax, sweetie. You're just a little over-anxious. No, you're just a little under-anxious, I think. Anyways, I've been curious about something for a while now. What's that? Why do you keep looking at me with such a sad look on your face, sweetie? He has absolutely no idea, and it's infuriating. B because you've been arrested for murder! Oh, don't be ignorant. They wouldn't- Oh, boy, he- I don't know how. But he, uh, he, he, he sounds more arrogant and stuck up than freaking Mr. White. I don't even know how that's possible. Why is that? Obviously, because I'm the fabulous Maximilian Galactica. So, I'm the very, no one, no one cares. And that means 
I'm rich, been paid fabulous since. Yeah, but apparently you wanted. Apparently it wasn't enough for you because you talked about a raise. Which means what? Max! Quit joking around, you've got to be pulling my magic wand. No, the police aren't really serious, but I'll. No, 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 they're just messing around. They're, they're just having. You know, this is just, just an average Tuesday for them. You're just, you know. Oh, there's a murder. Oh, oh, fun. Zany. 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 Wack. Wake. Wack. Words are hard. Wacky, jokey, zany, funny murder mystery, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> no, of course they're serious, you dick. <laughs> they, don't, they don't arrest people as a joke. Look at Max. He's crushed. Well, he needed to wake up and smell my coffee. This is serious business. Um, um, yes. But, okay, I mean, sir, you're a lawyer, right? Huh? Oh, yeah, I'm an attorney. Please. Oh, all of a sudden, you you flipped, have we? I didn't kill nobody. Didn't kill nobody? I may be more spoiled than a hog and a hamburger in my pit, but a killer? That's insane, I, I could never... But Max? I swear, I just wanted to pay up my daddy's dead, he's parking the fun. I don't... Okay, okay, I'll take a case. Really? Yeah, I'll take your case because I need the work. Thank you so much, real nice, so sure are nice folks. Um, Max? Yes? What's your real name? It's Billy Bob jo What's the matter, Maya? He's really just a country bumpkin. Ahem. I must apologize for not being my absolutely fabulous self now, just yes, sweetie. Mr. Attorney, a few minutes ago you took one of my cards, didn't you? Uh, now that he mentioned it, I did take a card. It was the Ten of Hearts, right? What? How did he. He got it right again. What can I say? You too, you've stolen some of my most valuable visit, don't say it. Ten of Maximilian Galactica's hearts. You should have a lot of hearts, don't you? <laughs> I'm putting my faith in you, sweetie. He didn't just call me sweetie, did he? All right, let's make this an absolutely fabulous case. Come on, Nick. Okay, let it be known that with, I mean, with the way he was acting just now, I don't know that I would want to defend this guy, but I mean, he gives us work, so. What's going to do, I suppose? Okay, circus entrance, let's go. December 28th, very big circus, circus entrance. We're here again! Yep, but this time we are here for work. It hasn't been that long since the crime, so the police are still on the scene. Let's find something who might, let's find someone who might know something about what happened. Sounds like a plan. Okay, where can we go? We can go, ooh, we can go to the lodging houses, or we can go to the big top. Well, I feel like we gotta start with the big top, right? Yep, here we are. December 28th, very big circus, big top. The circus stage sure doesn't look this small from out in the audience. Wow, this is where they all perform, isn't it? Nick, do some somersaults! I'm not doing any somersaults. Why not? You look like you'd be great at it. Why do I look like I'd be a great at somersaults? Uh, who do we piss off? Huh? Nick? It wasn't me. Oh, we pissed off the lion, did we? Oh, never mind, we pissed off the tiger. Okay, Raja, um, he's coming this way. <laughs> um. Um. And it was on this day that Phoenix Wright died. Nick, you're too young to die, Nick! Okay, someone's trying to tame the tiger that just mauled my face. I'm still here. I'm not dead yet. Nick! Nick, are you okay? Uh, who are you gonna be? Reasons is such a cute tiger, isn't he? What's the matter? You two sure are quiet. Don't what's the matter, me? Nick, he almost died there. Huh, he wasn't anywhere close to getting hurt, let alone dying. This little tiger hardly ever bites people. And besides, people normally never get to play with a wild tiger. Yeah, for good reason. Because they murder people. So if you think about it, you're actually really lucky. Oh, really am I now? Huh? You agree, don't I? I was lucky to not commit the big die because, you know, tiger, sharp teeth, human skin, but I, I wouldn't consider myself lucky to meet the tiger. No, I would not say that. Well, what do you mean you guess? Why are you agreeing with her? Well, okay, I'm lucky to survive, but I'm, I'm not for the same reason that she is. Woohoo, your costume. Eh? It's cute, I want to try it on. Costume? You mean my clothes? You don't mind letting me try it on, right? Um, I guess not. Really? Hehehe, <laughs> you're the best. Wow, the tables turned quickly on that one. So much for the tiger thing. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Regina Berry. Re Regi I'm Regina Berry, the renowned animal tamer of the Berry Big Circus. My name's Maya Faye. I'm a spirit medium. Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. When you put us up next to an animal tamer, I bet we look really odd. Uh, likewise. Okay. 
Yikers, well, this is one way to start things off. Okay, talk. What happened? Hey, Regina, what do you know about what happened last night? You mean the murder? Uh-huh. My dad was murdered. Oh, I see. Wait, what did you just say? So, the ringmaster was your... Yep. The ringmaster was my dad. You look really heartbroken. Gotta admit, considering it's the day after, I... I... Something tells me you'd be just a little bit more distraught than you are currently. I'm so sorry about what happened to him. Why do you say you're sorry? Huh? Anyways, everyone was here practicing last night. Even your dad? Yes, everyone was here. We finished up around 10 p.m. After that, everyone went off on their own. I was the only one who stayed around here. Why did you do that? I was playing with Regent. Regent, so she was with that beast. That's when the police showed up. When they took me to check things out, Dad was dead. Someone whose father was just murdered. She seems awfully perky. Yeah, I, was, I just said that. I wish she would tell us more about her dad. Uh, okay. Regina. That's incredible that you're an animal tamer. If you say so. It has to be really scary. Scary? Why? Huh? Regina isn't scary, but he's scary. Yeah, well, he almost just murdered me, so I don't know that I would... And look look at that face. That's not the face of something that you, you, you don't... You don't look at this and you say, oh, he's cute. You say, no, he's going to murder me in three seconds. Ever since Leon died, Regent has been my best friend. Let me guess, Leon the lion. I guarantee you Leon was a lion. Leon? Yes, Leon the lion. Leon the lion, yep. Regent and Regina. Or Regina, interesting name choices. Leon, he died? Yes, actually he was killed. My dad killed him. I, oh, <laughs> you are so casual about everything. Why did he do that? I'm not sure why he did it. It's tough not to get charmed when she looks at you with those innocent eyes. Okay. Um. You haven't met. Max isn't the guy, is he? I mean, the criminal? Of course he's not. I'm worried about so many things right now. Hmm. Like what? Eee. Not gonna elaborate on that, are we? Oh, yes, we are. Regina, Regina, I keep saying Regina. I'm probably gonna interchange between them throughout the course of the case. What's the matter? What's on your mind? <laughs> I'll tell you, Maya, but just you. Ah. Uh. Um, well. <laughs> what? Really? And then... Oh my, that's incredible, Regina! Come on, Nick, there's no reason to pout. Don't worry about me. Regina told me that someone professed their love to her. Uh, the hell was the point of telling only Maya if she was gonna tell me a second later anyway? P professed their love? Not only that, it was Maximilian Galactico. Oh. I wonder how many people have stolen one of his hearts anyway. And then on the exact same day, another person professed their love for her as well. Hmm, okay. Who was it? Someone named Trilo. Trilo? Trilo? I'm, I'm gonna go with Trilo. Trilo. Trilo? Apparently he's a tenor who sings in the circus. Hmm, haven't met him yet. Regina seems to be quite the hit with the men in the circus. She must have some sort of strange power over them. You're not kidding! Two people in one day, even I want to profess my love for her! Me too, she's so cute. <laughs> okay, um, can you tell us more about your father? Do we have her father's profile? Yes, we do. But I- oh, because I need to present it to her. I just went into the court record, okay. After practice was over, Dad- Dad- After practice was over, Dad went right back to his room. His room? Yes, that door right over there leads to the ringmaster's room. Hmm. I don't know why, but he went off to his room in a hurry. I wonder what happened. The ringmaster's room. Probably a good idea to check it out for myself. Okay. So can we go to the... They top ringmaster's room. Alright, to the ringmaster's room we go. December 28th, big top ringmaster's room. This is the ringmaster's room? Yes, this room belonged to the victim. Which means this must be where Max met the ringmaster last night. Now that you mention it, that is what he said. I wonder what. Hmm. That's an interesting poster. Which one? Ah, it's a poster of Max! I want it! I want it! Nick, I want it! I want to get out of here. Okay. Well, first thing to catch my attention, this envelope on the table right here. It's a table for guests. There are some papers scattered on top. Ah, look at this! Max's salary is written on this piece of paper. Yikes! Well, what is it? I, I didn't know that a magician... This salary is incredible! She looks like she's about, to re about ready to pass out from shock. How much is it? How much is it? Th 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 that much? Incredible, huh? You can say that again. 
This must be the paper that they used to negotiate Max's salary. The ringmaster signed and dated it. What's the matter, Nick? Max definitely got a raise, but this document is dated a week ago. Documents related to Max and the salary negotiations. He got an enormous raise one week ago. Okay. Next thing to catch my attention is this big old poster right here with Regina's face on it. There's a lot of posters here, don't you think? There are indeed. So many posters that they aren't likely to miss one, are they? Maya, are supposed to be the honest ones around here. But, but you didn't even notice that I took one. Oh, she already swiped one. <laughs> You're incorrigible, you know that? Ah, oh, you gotta love my Emblazoned with Max's three famous symbols, okay. Um, so, is there anything else here that we can look at? I don't see any- nothing else is jumping out at me, so let's just- No one- I was- I was hoping there'd be someone to talk to here, okay, well. That's everything for now, so I guess we can go to the- no, nope, I didn't want to- I wanted to move. We can go to the- the lodging area. Lodging House Plaza. December 28th, Lodging House Plaza. This seems to be a dorm where all the performers in the circus stay. Really? So we might run into that stoogy clown here, right? He's so kooky! Ah, Gumshoe! Oh, Detective Gumshoe! How is it you guys always seem to know when I'm working a crime scene, pal? Because you're always working, Detective! Well, I'd rather not be always working, but with crime, you don't make your own hours. If I have to be at the circus anyway, I want to see the lion tamer in the tightrope. However, no matter where I go, the show is always the same. Dead body, stage left. Nick! Nick! He complained! Ha <laughs> ha, that's a rarity. Let's get back to business now, okay? Alright, got any- got any information for us, Gumshoe? Do you know who will be the prosecu- I- I got one guess. By the way, I didn't talk about it yesterday because there were so many other things happening, but Francisca Von Karma, great prosecutor. I love her. She's awesome. Not quite as good as Edgeworth- well, okay, so maybe- as- as, as far as quality of prosec prosecutor goes, they're pretty much the same. It's just that we have a more personal connection to Edgeworth, so obviously I, I care about him more because I don't know Francisca all that well. But as far as prosecutors go, very, very good. I re really like Francisca. Um, of course, only Miss Von Karma. I'm so surprised. Uh, she's gonna, of course she's gonna hit you with the whip again. What do you have to worry about? You only have to see her in court. When she shows up at the precinct, that's the sound of that whip never ends, pal. Detective Gumshoe, I'm sure Miss Von Karma's really interesting and all, but there's someone else I'd like, I'd rather talk about. Like who? Like Mr. Edgeworth, of course. Um, you know, Nick's true rival, Miles Edgeworth. What in the world happened after I went back home? Mr. Edgeworth, you haven't heard what happened to him? Nick won't tell me. Well, to be honest, I'm not at liberty to tell you either. Let's just say he's not around anymore. Yeah, we learned last time that he's dead. He's not around? Nick, what does he mean Edgeworth isn't around? Exactly what he said. He's not around. Edgeworth is gone. Don't say his name again, okay? N Nick? They are really, really baiting this hard. I mean, the thing is, we, we already know what happened, obviously, because we told, Phoenix told Edward, or some, was it Lotta or Pearl that we told, I don't know. We told someone that Edward died. I think it was Pearl. And, uh, and I'm, I'm assuming it was a suicide, because there was a note, like, at the end of the, the first game, they, they teased a little note that he left behind, and then in this game we find that he's dead, so. Oh boy, what happened? The ringmaster of the circus was murdered, wasn't he? Yep, last night around 10 p.m. He died outside in the cold. The priest had a way to go out if you ask me, pal. It was it was rather cold. This is the scene of the crime, pal. The body was found right over there. Right about where you are standing now. Ah! Oh, I surprised you, didn't I? I'm not laughing. Excuse me, but do you mind telling me what happened to the victim? He was killed by a blow to the noggin, pal. Yeep. It's pretty clear cut as far as murders go. He was discovered quickly. But... But? It's just one thing that doesn't quite fit. Ha! There always seems to be something that doesn't quite fit. And what might that be this time? What was this one thing that just didn't quite fit? The thing you mentioned earlier. Footprints, pal. Footprints. Footprints? Look at this picture of the crime scene. What's this? This wooden box under the body? No clue, pal. Some forensic experts are getting back and are examining now. And, and, and what is so mysterious about the footprints? Whoa, calm down now. Take a good look at the footprints in the picture. The victim's footprints are on scene. That's right, pal. The problem is... The Gila's footprints aren't there! Oh, wait a minute. Are you telling me that the entire premise of this... ...is that Max had to have killed this person because there weren't any footprints... ...and therefore they think he flew away? 
Is that the level of insanity that we're about to stoop to? I... Good lord, I hope not. Where did the killer come from and where did the killer run off to? Obviously, there was no way the killer committed this crime while flying. A flying culprit? That's when something just clicked in my head. Yup, that's the level of insanity we're stooping to. Oh, good god. There's no way! Flying is impossible! That's right, flying is impossible. Absolutely impossible, haha. <laughs> What's with the hollow left, pal? I meant nothing by it, pal. That doesn't sound right coming out of Phoenix's mouth. Better stated, it means I don't want to talk about it. Maybe I can get some info about Max out of him. Okay, we got a crime photo, that's nice. Get info about Max, do you want me to- No, I, you want me to present Max's profile? I just passed him. It looks like Max is the most unpopular guy in the circus tent, and I- I- Gee, golly gee whiz, I wonder why. You know what they say, better to follow you everywhere. Hmm. He's a bit arrogant, but he No, he did seem that bad, Phoenix. He very much seemed that bad. But just because someone has a bad attitude doesn't make them a criminal, that is also true. That is also true. Both statements are, are completely correct. It's not just his attitude, I've got proof, pal. Huh? You love something to see in the crime. One of the magician's trademarks. An incredibly well-made silk hat. Well, it does have some very classy decorative elements. Silk hat, made to order hat that is a symbol of Max's fabulousness, found on the crime scene. Max used a cloak, silk hat, and white roses as his, as his signature symbols. Pretty mundane, aren't they? Who cares if they're mundane? At least they are easy to understand. I must have hit a nerve. And that's what he said. Who said? The eyewitness. Eh? Tell us about the eyewitness. Okay, who is this eyewitness? Uh, so about the eyewitness. Oh, you know I'm not gonna tell you about that. That's the prosecution's trump card. Hmm. Oh well. Oh, I just remembered. What? I forgot to mention that you were too above measuring the lodging house. Why is that? Oh, no reason. Just something I remembered to tell you. It must be because that's where the eyewitness is. Let's check it out. Don't you dare, pal. Are you, are you gonna stop us? You're not gonna stop us. Alright, here we go. December 28th, lodging house, first floor, Moe's room. I wonder whose room this is. The name tag on the door says Moe on it. I guess he's not here. Wow, it's a real mess in here. My room's probably worse, though. Oh, well, I give up. I'll have to come back later. Well, that was a bust. Okay. Well, at least we know that Gumshoe is not even going to try to stop us from going in there. So, where else would he be? Maybe, maybe he went to the big top? December 28th, very big circus, circus entrance. Huh? Hey, Nick, look over there. What? There's someone over there. Excuse me. Your name should be Ben. I don't know why, but your name should- you look like a Ben. Your name should be Ben. Hello? Wow, he sure is a quiet one! Excuse me! Me? Yes, you work at the circus, don't you? No, I'm just an average everyday girl. An average Joe who just happens to hang out at the circus? I don't think so. Yes, I am. I've got nothing to do with what's going on here. He's lying. Like any regular person would hang around the circus with dress like that. Yeah, that, I didn't actually notice it before, but that is a ginormous tie. Very much disproportionate to his head. I'm an attorney. My name is Phoenix Wright. I'm a spirit medium. My name is Maya. Well, I am. I just happen to be um, passing by. I don't suppose you happen to be some kind of carny? Not a carny. I'm a performer, actually. I'm a ventriloquist. Ventrilo ventriloquist? <laughs> I, I, ah, I know! Wow. Wow, I actually- Wow, I actually called that. I- I- that was- Okay, that was a random comment, by the way. He- he just looks like a Ben. Tell me he doesn't look like a Ben. Tell me he doesn't look like a Ben. And what do you know? His name is Ben! Wow. Alright. Your last name is Woodman? Yes, that's right, but everyone calls me Ben. Ah, yes! That's your alias, right? I believe they call it a stage name. Okay, um, what do we have to talk about with you? What happened? Excuse me, Ben? Ah, uh, yes? You mean me? About the murder. I'd like to talk to you about the details, if I may. Really? I'm just a regular normal guy. I don't know, uh... This guy's so nervous, he's creeping me out. Nick! Cheer up! Just try and smile! Okay, I'm not the- are you gonna tell us anything? Would you mind telling us something about Max? Maximilian Galactica. Uh, Max? He's not very nice. Did he just say that Max is not very nice? I mean, we, we, we all knew that. Yikes, I hope he is okay. He sounds like he, he, sounds like he just popped a gasket. Okay, ventriloquism. Ben, so you're a ventriloquist? I, I'm just a regular guy. You already told us 
You already told us that you were a ventriloquist. Oh, yes. Nick, don't yell at him. You can't do that. I can't help, but he's making me nervous. Ben, would you mind showing me some of your skills as a ventriloquist? Well, I am right now. Uh, I, I, why? Ah, uh, he's contagious. Well, that was a bust. Okay. Is the witness there yet? Because I'm kind of sick of talking to this guy. I must admit. Very sick of talking to this guy. 728 Lodging House First Floor Mo's Room. Hello? Oh. Oh, good God. Congratulations! You're the big waiter! Oh, the one million visitor to the room of one Mr. Mo Curls, aka me! Oh, you're probably must find here. <laughs> You celebrate this momentous occasion! Would you care for an organic grape? Just one! Ho oh ho! Did you get my joke right there? Ho oh ho! Oh ho ho! I won't start giving you one more than them! Um. No no no! If it was funny, it is your duty as a human being to laugh! Ho oh ho! People don't laugh at you, usually seen a last scene in Lansing! Catch my drift! Ho oh ho ho! Um, Maya. Ah! Ha ha ha! This is like some flashy nightmare. <coughs> Come on, it was funny. Clowns are always funny in my book. In my book, they're just funny looking. You sure do have a great taste in clothes, girly. Look at that garb. Ho -ho! You look just like Greta Garb. Ho -ho! Ho -ho! Uh, I'm going home. No, Nick, you can't. You know, I can excuse a bad joke or two, but this stooge keeps laughing at his own jokes. That's what I object to. Okay, okay, I get it, but. Yeah, to me, he's kind of funny. No, he is definitely- he is most decidedly not funny. If you look at- if you go to the dictionary, and you look at the definition of funny, uh, and then you look underneath that to see synonyms and antonyms, he would be in the antonym category. In fact, you know what? He wouldn't even be the first one. You have to get a- you have to get a thesaurus, and then look in there to find the antonyms. That's how- that's how insignificant he is, but also works as an antonym of funny. This joke went nowhere. Let's just move on. Ah, uh, no, I do not have to admit that because he isn't. Oh! Oh, you are going to be... No, I don't know, oh boy. Could you please tell us more about the Berry Big Circus? It's a very big story! You sure you got that kind of time? Ho -ho! And the hits just keep on coming. The circus has been in business for 20 years! We all performed under the guidance of the ringmaster, Russell Berry! 20 years? Wow! Working in the circus is never easy, especially nowadays! With, motor with movies, TV, and bowling, there's just too much competition! Why bowling specifically? But, 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 I love the circus! I love it too! That's why I've been here for 20 years! We work hard to keep the show running, no one sends in the clowns on us! Nick, he just made a joke! Laugh! <laughs> laugh! <laughs> I, I, just made, I just made a joke, now laugh, that was a joke, please laugh. Uh... The Master was a real big shot in the circus world, a real class act! Even when there were no customers, Russell would use his own money to pay me! Because he knew that I had a family to care for! He was happy to take care of his employees! I see. How could anyone do that to such a wonderful man? Okay. I'm gonna guess that you weren't the one who killed him then. Mo. Wiggity, 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 what? Uh, I'm sorry, Mo. Nick was born without a sense of. Excuse me? I, I just think this guy was born with too much a sense of humor and the wrong sense of humor. Don't worry about it. How can you fault someone for being born that way? Ho -ho! Let's talk about the murder. Oh, let's see. It must have taken place around 10 p.m. last night. After rehearsals were finished, I was tucked out, so I came back here. After I went to bed, that's when I caught a peek of it. Caught a peek? Of the crime! Just as we suspected. This guy's the eyewitness to the crime. Okay. The ringmaster was truly ahead of his time. He would always add new elements to the show. New elements? When you've been a performer for a long time, your act starts getting a bit stale. Hmm. I realize even my act can get a bit long in the tooth. Sometimes my jokes can be a bit, um, old-fashioned. That is not the word I would use. But that make-believer takes things too far! Make-believer? The magician! The one that thinks he's all high and mighty! He had the gall to say to me, You're one of those unfunny types- uh, You're one of those funny types, right? What does he mean, one of those? Well, the joke's on him now! On him? Yep! He's got on everyone's nerves! The day of the murder! Go ahead. Nope! No way! Just forget I said anything! Woohoo! I bet he's still hiding something about Max. But no psych locks have popped up yet. Okay, what do you witness? You say you saw the crime. Do you mind telling me what you saw? Well, the police told me that I can't share my story with others. Don't say a word, pal. I'm just gonna have to let these lips stay zipped. That's not fair. I guess you're right. Maybe I can tell you a few details. 
But only if you can get old stiff lips here to make for the funny. Stiff lips? Wait, do you mean me? Nick, you can do it! Ahem. What's the matter? Just getting ready, okay? Do you know why I, Phoenix Wright, am a great lawyer? Because I'm right all the time. Ha 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 ha! Funny joke! Hmm. <laughs> At least his expectations are low. I wouldn't let him quit his day job. Don't worry, I wasn't planning on it anyway. It wasn't the greatest joke I've ever heard, but you did try, so I'll tell you what I saw. I'm sorry he's incapable of being funny. I did what? You should, you should hear my thought process, because some of the, you know, the thoughts that Phoenix has are quite, quite humorous. That night, once I had tucked myself into bed, I heard this amazing noise. It was incredibly loud. It sounded like a giant thump. Once I heard it, I jumped out of bed. That's when I saw... Without question, without a doubt, it was that magician! That's all I saw, but it just proves how terrible that man actually is! He knows more about Max than he's letting on. Okay, so you want to tell us more about Max? Hmm, if he thinks he can kill the ringmaster, it's only just that he should die too! Mao! Sorry, I crossed the line, but he truly is a disgusting human being! Why do you hate him so much? Let me tell you this one a story. The morning before the murder, something terrible happened! Max clonked Ben right over the head as hard as he could! Ben? The ventriloquist with a speech impediment? You should go to the cafeteria and investigate for yourselves! Cafeteria? Let's just say there's gotta be something interesting there! Oh! Oh yes! The very big circus is very big, isn't it? You should always carry a map with you getting around! Ah, thank you! Oh! Oh, I'll get, I killed myself! Really, I'm dying here! Corner! Corner! Now he's just laughing to hear his own voice. Okay. Oh, are we done? Can we go to the cafeteria now and get the hell out of here? Holy hell, okay. Wow. Yikers, he's gonna be... Quite a character. Okay, let's go to the cafeteria. I'm assuming the cafeteria would be in the big top. Since there's nowhere else that could- Yeah, big top cafeteria, okay. Let's actually, let's actually look at the map. Uh, to get a sense of everywhere else we that we can go. Okay. So we have big top cafeteria, big master's room. Okay, so there's their lodging room. We have Mo on the first floor and Akram on the third floor. Okay, so I'm assuming we're gonna meet Acro a little bit later on, because they definitely wouldn't have just put his name there for no reason. Ew, this place is gross! This must be this must be because of last night. Didn't have the time to clean up after dinner because of the murder. That reminds me, what was it Mo said? He said that yesterday morning Max clonked Ben over the head here. He also said that there's gotta be something interesting there. Nick, what's gotta be interesting? Don't ask. Hmm. Okay, well this is definitely a scene of a struggle, because for one the the chair is knocked over, and this, 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 I'm guessing this is what he used to, to clonk Ben over the head because it's broken. What's this? Must just be a juice bottle or something? Ah, uh, watch out, Nick! There's broken glass all over the floor! Hmm, a broken bottle just lying in the middle of the floor. Do you think it means anything? There's gotta be something interesting there. Huh? Looks like we're going to have to go back. Ugh, come on. Hmm? Oh, oh, wait, do you mean, oh, you mean Max? Because. Uh, what's it? Because of the, we, like, we know something else that happened, so maybe, maybe that's what the psych locks are about? Like, th maybe this, this, in this incident right here is what they were talking about? That might be it. That actually very well might be it. Okay, so let's, in that case, let's go back to the detention center and see if I'm correct and that this is, this is what Max's psych lock was about. Oh, it's my two sweeties. Welcome to the detention center. <sighs> Did you just call me a sweetie again? What's on today's agenda? What can I help you with? Well, we've gathered f quite a few clues. Wonderfully fantabuloso! That's why we came to meet with you again. What's wrong? Quit making such a scary face. Okay then, Max, let's make this absolutely fabulous. Any new things to talk to us about? Ooh. We heard a lot about you at the circus, Max. Ah, you mean from, you mean from the dinosaurs? How are those Jurassic geriatrics? Max, you aren't very popular with the other performers, are you? Yes, 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 sweetie. That's what they call jealousy. J-E-A-L-O-U-S-Y. They are absolutely jealous of my absolutely fabulous self. People who really understand can see the obvious differences between us. People who really understand? For instance, my sweetie pie. Hmm, so Regina understands him? I plan on getting married to her. She is truly my sweetie pie princess. Wow, that's so cool! It's already in the works. Oh? 
That's strange. Regina never said anything about actually marrying this joker. Okay, so let's tell if I- You met the ringmaster on the night of the murder. Yes! I was with him around 10 p.m. once I was done with practice. I went to his room right after we finished. They found the ringmaster's body in the plaza in front of the lodging house. Yeah, I heard about that. He didn't, he didn't just step out for a bit, so I waited in his room for him to return. Huh? Sorry, Mark, so I have something I need to att I must attend to right now. Do you mind waiting for me right here? It's pretty cold outside. Where's your coat? It's alright, I'll be right back. It should only take about ten minutes. And then? I waited for him, but he never came back. Did he go to the plaza where the body was discovered? Possibly. The snow had tapered off a bit, but it was still very cold outside. But I have no idea what he went off to do. Okay. Well, now it's time to crack your psych lock. Meeting with Russell. Okay, so I'm gonna predict... So we, we know for sure he wasn't talking about the ra the rays because the what's it the the papers were from a week ago so that's not true I must I'm gonna guess that he clocked bed over the head with a broken bottle and then he called him into his office to talk about it last night you met with the ringmaster correct to negotiate your salary and such exactly we reached an agreement about the salary for my six month old contract that's the truth the whole truth. What do you mean? You just went to his office to negotiate your new salary? I hate lies, and I hate liars even more. What are you insinuating? Do you have any proof that it's in Yes, I do, because this was a week old. That. That's... It was on the table in the ringmaster's room. You weren't lying when you said that you received quite a raise. Is there a problem with being well compensated? Not with the compensation, just with the date. This is dated a week ago. Max, you finished your contract negotiations... You... Nah. You finished your contract negotiations a week ago. For fabulous! Alright, there's one down, two to go. Alright, I'll tell you the truth. That night, the ringmaster called me to his room. Yep, that's what I thought. He called you? Why did he do that? Sorry, sweetie. Th yeah, well, I think I know why. I wonder if there's some sort of problem. Uh, Max? Perhaps you could share with me what you two spoke about? Well, not if I don't have to. Isn't this why the ringmaster called you to his room? Was it because you... The truth is, yesterday morning during breakfast, we had a run-in. You mean you had a fight with Ben the Ventriloquist? You could put it that way. Why did you fight with him? Ben seems like such a quiet man. We fought about my sweetie pie. You mean Regina? Regina, I just keep doing that. That old bread creep told me my told my sweetie pie princess that he was in love with her. Would you put up with that? Ill bread? Are you talking about the same Ben? Told her he was in love with her? Are you sure this is the Ben we are talking about? All I can say is that he made me mad and I had to tap him on his hard head. That's when the ringmaster called me and I realized that it was my chance. Your chance? That's when I went to his room and I laid it all out on the table. I asked him to let me marry my sweetie pie. What? The ringmaster told me that it sounds good to me. That's why my sweetie pie is my sweetie pie. And no one else's. Hmm, let's see. Since Ben was causing me so much trouble, I realized I had to shut him up. Shut him up? Interesting wording to use in this particular circumstance. Um, what do you mean by shut him up? You don't know, do you, my sweeties? Trilo can't say a word. Not without Ben. Trilo? The puppet. The ventriloquist's is... Really? The puppet's na The ventriloquist's puppet's name is Triloquist. A Trilokist. Ooh, boy. Okay. But a puppet doesn't talk. I know, that's why I hit it. Before the police came and took me away, of course. If that puppet started flapping off at the boss, uh, I'd be screwed. You hit him? You mean the ventriloquist puppet? You are so smart, sweetie. Um, where did you hide him? What? Sweetie. You aren't thinking of trying to add him to my defense, are you? Well, Ben does seem awfully lonely without his puppet. Fabulous! That should have taught him a lesson. Okay, I heard, I heard Trilo in the ringmaster. Okay, so we gotta go to the ringmaster's room. Getting Trilo for me to you, my sweets? No problem! You know, I can't stand to see my sweeties in a jam. And don't go hiding puppets. Okay. Um, let's go fetch us a puppet, I guess. Huh? Ben's not here anymore. Yeah, I wanted to ask him something. It's cold out. He probably isn't, he's probably in the tent. Okay. Are you in the tent? No, you're not. What do you think, Nick? I wonder if we made making any progress. 
Don't be so negative. Of course we're making progress. But everyone, but everyone loved the ringmaster, and there's no sign of footprints on the scene. There's still a lot of mysteries left to be solved. Of course. And now Regina isn't here. A Regina, Regina, whatever. I'm, I'm not seeing how that's related. Okay, nope, don't examine. Move to the ringmaster's room. That's where the... He said that he hid Trilo somewhere in this room. Trilo, oh, the ventriloquist puppet. Okay. Where would you hide a puppet? Well, something's sticking out of the suit here. You may not know this, but they call this a tailcoat. And they call this the face of someone who already knew that. Hmm. What? Scrap of white paper sticking out of the coat pocket. Huh? Where? Where? Calm down, Maya. You, can, you can't just go rummaging through people's coats. Ah, you always make me feel like I'm doing something wrong. Okay. Wasn't there. Maybe it's hidden in the trophy case? Nay, hey, look at all the cute trophies! Indeed, look at all the awards this circus has won. All County Quiz Champions, Ringmaster Association Mini Golf Master, Beer Billy Balloon Bounce Champ, Pet Griffin Grand Prix. Wow, the Ringmaster was multi talented in ways I could all never imagine. Hmm, there's something shoved into the bookshelf. This is. That's Trilo! That's Ben's puppet! Thank you, right, we'll give it back to him later. An, uh, an, opera, an operatic tenor who doubles as Ben's sidekick. Why do I have to carry this thing? Oh boy, uh, so I'm guessing the only place that the other people could be is probably in the cafeteria, right? Oh, hey, Ben! Uh, um, h hello. He hello to you, too! It's awfully cold today, don't you agree? Y y y yeah, I, I, I do indeed. Don't you think it's cold, Nick? I don't see how talking about the weather is helping our case. So, uh, we got something for you. Ah, Ben, this is yours, isn't it? Y yes, that th that's mine. Here you go. She looks to return to Ben. All right, Maya, let's get going. It's that time, isn't it? See you around, Ben. Oh, okay, okay. So, Nick, where are we going next? Let's see, maybe we should go talk. Uh... Who said that? What are you looking at? I'm right here, you blind wench. Oh, the f puppet is talking. What the sh Oh my god. Mm, okay. This is interesting. What's your problem anyways? Don't you know how to properly greet someone? Ben? Is that you, Ben? No, no, no. No, 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 no. I, 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 I would never. It was me. It was, yeah, me, down here. You're, you're Trilo? That is Mr. Quiz, not Mr. Keys to you, sir. Learn some manners before you just blurt out my name. Now try speaking to me again, but this time with some proper respect. Oh, ye Ah, everybody is so full of themselves. And this one's a puppet! Mr. Kist, is that better? No, look at me while I am talking to you, you ancient excuse for an attorney. Oh, wow. Trilo, Trilo, we, we talked about insulting people, you promise. But he was mocking me, not to mummy me, the boys was not included in the deal. Why are you punching yourself with your own puppet, you dingus? I'm sorry, Trilo. Nick! What just happened? Trilo is still a puppet. Hey, what do you think you are calling me a puppet? Um, a rational human being is what I would consider myself to be. Okay, this is interesting. What happened? Tell us what you know about the murder. You talking to me? I said you talking to me? Don't look at me when you're talking to me! Trilocus, you behave, young man. Shut up, Woody! What murder are you talking about? The, you mean the one where they off the old man? I guess so. No need to make such a fuss about things. That'll not pay us all peanuts. Trilo, you can't say things like that. I didn't raise you to be that kind of puppet. Don't you have nerve pills or something to take right now? <laughs> oh my god, what is, what, what, what is this case? These two are a really odd couple, don't you think, Nick? Okay, okay, I'll talk. Graham's gonna clob it over the head. Okay. Let me lay it all out for you. The pay sucks, the clown sucks, my partner has his hand in my pants. <laughs> Your partner? You mean Ben? Yeah, the creepy old guy who never finds it in himself to leave me alone. Tell him to back off me, will ya? He's just another one of the dorks around here. Oh my. But I'll be fair. In the cesspool of human garbage masquerading as performers, I found my Madonna. Your... Madonna? Regina. My lovely Regina. She is stunning, right? Ben? Okay, now that- I, I- I completely forgot about that. I completely forgot about that. Now that I know that Trilo was a puppet and Trilo is one of the ones who proposed to Regina, I don't even know where to begin. 
Well, I'm not sure if I would go that far. You'll have to excuse him, he does not understand of what he speaks. I, on the other hand, am an appreciator of true beauty, hence why I shall marry her. M -m -m marry This is just so ridiculous. The remaster got knocked upside his sheep head by that flying fraud. You mean Max Galactica? Why do you say that? True love, straighten up, don't make people like that. Straighten up? I'm made of wood. Besides, you were there, you know what happened. You were there? Yeah, if you're that interested, then I'll let you in on the facts. Okay. You, you're going to marry Regina? That's right, she doesn't quite realize the joy that wakes her, does she? I think I'm beginning to see why she seemed to trouble. Well, she... I don't care, it is my choice, not hers. We're getting hitched. I know you think that, but... But, but what? I gave her a special gift. I gave her the wonderful gift of song. Oh, I'm sure she loved that. You gave her a song? Well, I am a renowned tenor. You'll be happy to know that I've decided to grace you with one of my songs. Oh, I can't wait. Me, 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 me. I want you to talk to me, I want you to kiss me, I want you to- <laughs> The rest is private. Well, um, the melody is pretty good, but those lyrics, I think they need a little work. Who asked you? I'm the artist here. Um, thanks, now that Trillo's here. Now that Trillo's here, does that mean you can talk normally now? Hey, buttface! Ha! Ah. You must be looking forward to tomorrow, aren't you Mr. Ambulance Chaser? Uh, you know, you know, it's time to get rid of that pesky magician once and for all. Trillo? Enough Jimmy Jabba, let's get to court already! Oh my god, every single person in this case is so annoying. I sh <laughs> Hey, wait a second. Nick, what's going on? He's a witness for tomorrow's trial. Okay, I- I don't even- I- This is- this is too much. This is just too much. Hmm, what in the world happened with Ben and Trilo? Quite a pair, those two. What did the- What? Oh, good. Now we got now we got Abu. Your, your name your name is your name is Abu from Aladdin. Oh no, now what? Ah, uh, yeah. What the what 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 is happening? Hey, welcome back, Nick. The the that monkey. Ah, my badge. The monkey stole the monkey stole your attorney's badge. <laughs> Mr. Returny, that face was so cute. You look so completely dumbfounded. Regina! You! That monkey! Hey, no need to get angry, okay? B but my attorney's badge! Don't worry, I'll help you out. Okay, if you say so. If I don't get my badge back, how can I flash it? By the way, the monkey's name is Money. Money the monkey! What? <laughs> we got Liam the Lion. We got freaking... What's the stupid... Do we have the tiger's profile in here? No, we don't. It was... But the tiger's name is something like Regina. Reg Reginald, maybe, I don't know. It's something like that. We got Lean the Lion, Reginald the Tiger, or whatever. Money the Monkey. What's next? Alley the Alligator? Pan the Panda? I, I just, like, what? What else do you have up your sleeve? His name is Mon M Money, Monkey, Mo M Money, Monkey, Monkey, Money, Monkey, freaking. <sighs> Where do I get my attorney's badge from? The monkey is called Money. Yes. Well, the rich ape just stole my attorney's bag. Can I forget that back? I'll see what I can do. Even I have money problems. What, whatever, whatever money sees something shiny, he takes it back home. Haha, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Well, I guess I'll just have to find out where money disappeared to. I think I think that's your best bet. You should probably ask. You should probably ask Uncle Mo. He might know. Huh? Y you don't know? Well, money isn't exactly someone I am on friendly terms with. What? It's not really the kind of animal I work with. Even if he does not need, even if he doesn't need taming. Oh, I see. Go to Moe's. Hmm, I guess this. Is, I guess this time I revisit that kooky clown. Okay, I don't really care about the other things. Let's just go to the where, circus entrance and then lodging. December twenty eighth, lodging house plaza. Huh? The head of Gumshoe took off already. Yeah, probably because we ditched him earlier. I bet he and the other cops got lonely and headed back to the precinct. Okay, now let's move to Moe's room. December 28th, Lodging House, first floor, Moe's room. Oh my, if it isn't Mr. Right all the time! Oh! It's all right to be wrong every now and again, right? See, Nick, it just took a while for the joke to find its audience. <sighs> so what can I do for you? Did you remember a good joke you wanted to tell me? Pull up a chair, or maybe just pull my finger and let me have it! We're going, we're going to get the same sound effect either way, aren't we? How do you know I put a woman cushion on the chair? You really know what it takes to be a clown, don't you? Oh! Oh boy, okay, just tell me where I can find my stupid freaking 
attorney's badge. Regina is such a pure, innocent child. She's such a cutie, too. She was born and raised in the circus, you know? But that means she doesn't really know much about the world outside the big top. She sounds like Pearly. For her, every child's dream of the circus is her everyday reality. She lives in a dream world. She seems dancing animals, men flying in the air, and one very funny clown every day. The funny thing is, it all seems normal to her because this is her everyday life. I guess that explains why she thinks she can marry a ventriloquist puppet. Don't ask me if her reality is a good thing or a bad thing, though. A clown seems life simply, without complications. Okay, now what about the attorney's badge? Have you ever heard of a monkey named Money? Oh, yes, Money! He stole my attorney's badge. Well, Money does love shiny objects. It makes sense that he'd swipe your badge. But under no circumstances can you chase after him. Eh, why is that? Oh, I know, you don't want to get involved in it. Okay, I skipped past that, but I guarantee you it said because he didn't want to get involved in any monkey business. <sighs> no tricking around, though. Money isn't considered a member of Virginia's family. Then who does he belong to? I'm happy to take you to where his owner is staying. You mean right now? Of course. Shall we go? Hmm. Should we go with him now? Go, go now. Just get, give me my freaking badge back. It's the 28th lodging house. Ah, oh, we made it to Acro's room, have we? <sighs> this is it. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? I can't breathe. Don't be such a wimp. You only had to climb two flights of stairs. <sighs> Anyways, this is the place. Acro's room. Acro? He's an acrobat. He seems like he's not around today. Uh. That's a big pile of junk over in the corner. I don't think it'd be wrong to assume the Phoenix stuff is over there, too. Just be careful to make sure you got the right stuff, Nick. Thanks, Mo. See you later. Money the monkey added to the court record. A monkey who takes care of Acro habitually gathers all sorts of shiny objects. But, like, why, though? Why, like, why is that a thing? Okay. Where's... Give me the thing. Holy cow, there's a fork and a mirror. Everything's shiny. There's even a really cheap-looking knockoff wristwatch. Look at this, it's the trophy, and it's really heavy. Nick, I found it, your badge is right here. Attorney's badge returned to its rightful spot. Thanks, you really saved me, huh? What's the matter, did you find something? Yeah, check this out. It's a ring. There's something engraved on it from T to R. I'm guessing that's from Trilo to Regina. So, Money the Monkey also stole the engagement ring, huh? Okay. Interesting. Well, I think it's about time we wrap up our investigation. You think we'll win in court tomorrow? Who knows? Even I can't imagine what kind of testimony will come out tomorrow. I'm guessing Mo will be a witness in court tomorrow. Mo and maybe the puppet. Don't worry, Nick. No matter what, we still got a magician on our side. That's good because we might need some magic tomorrow. Okay, wow. Um. Well? Certainly an interesting place to have a murder mystery, that's still true. But, um, number one, every single character we've met, except for baby Regina. So every, every single new character we met except for Regina. Annoying as all heck. Like, actually freaking annoying. Um, also, if this whole case is predicated on the fact that freaking there's no performance on the scene, therefore Max must have flown away. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, obviously that's not the case, right? Like, I'm, at least I'm hoping the game isn't going to do a thing where it's like, oh, he actually did fly, woohoo. But I, I'm going to operate under the assumption that it's not the case, that, you know, he, he didn't actually fly. So whether or not it's true doesn't really matter, though, because it's because the, the fact that the prosecution thinks for even a second that Max can actually fly is ridiculous. But... I guess we'll have to wait and see. That, so that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next time. I hope to catch you all tomorrow for some more. Phoenix Friday's Attorney Justice for All. Goodbye.